Hello and welcome to Let's Play Chile in Victoria 2. Um, let's, let's waste no time and just start the game already. Um, this first, of course, policy and budget. Okay, administration, education is at 100%, tariffs at 100% also. Um, of course, going for ideolog ideological thought first, because we really, really want that plurality which will give us a lot of research points. And that is one of the most important thing in this game. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, of course, there is. First of all, get rid of Curiouser, because this one is useless, because we are mostly going to occupy things and not fight armies. I'll explain it later on. Um, is there anything? Oh, of course, trade. Because of Clippers going crazy in the early game, and UK being a bullshit country, we need to stockpile them early on. And also, I believe, we need to stockpile some artillery. Because in the early game, um, economy is pretty crap, and most countries can't actually afford to... Um, well, simply the supply is just... like nothing to compare to demand, so we are going to get... we would get nothing but this way we will actually be able to stockpile some. Now of course we have no money at the moment, which means we are gonna go into debt. But we are still safely away from uh, our interest rate. We are getting around 10 to 12 pounds per day and we only have 1.35 interest, which is okay. So, first things first, let's start justifying a war on Bolivia. Our state. Now the, the way usually things work out in uh, South America is that Peru allies Bolivia and then Argentina usually declares war on them because they have course in Bolivia and they usually get pretty beaten up but uh, Bolivia tends to lose some troops there which is good for us because we have course and we have a lot of course. We have a core on uh, Bolivia here in Atacama. And we also have a uh, core on Peruvian Atacama. We then also, of course, have a core on yet more, yet another state uh, in uh, Peru. And that is. I really don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna guess. Oh crap, we got no funny. I'm gonna guess it's Arequipa. But I'm probably wrong. Anyway. So, yeah, we have those free cores, and that means we can get um, 30 prestige from them. And also, I'm gonna take two states from one from Bolivia, one from Peru, which would actually it should put us on around 50 prestige plus 5, uh, that would be 55. And with that military power, we should be very close to beca becoming a great power. Of course, USA, Spain and an Ottoman Empire will get some prestige from uh, early wars. Whoa! Oh, I actually got quite lucky there. Quite prestige, why not? Now, um, I don't really think the best way to play this game is to ally Paraguay because they have Brazilian cores and Brazil is likely to attack them. So no, I'm gonna decline that. Anyway, now the way to fight this is to justify a war in Bolivia. Oh, there we go. By the way, I forgot to mention the Chilean economy is pretty great actually. Because they, I believe they get two gold prices, one here and one here, or actually not here. So we already got one, and then I think later on we get this one also, but I'm not 100% sure. And the last time I played Chile was in a multiplayer game and we had 22 players. Actually it was a pretty decent run, and well, I was really close to becoming a great power, but then we got bashed by UK. 
Brazil and I tried to expand into Southeast Asia and Africa. We declared war on the Netherlands, but the Netherlands was allied to UK and we actually didn't expect the UK to defend them. Because the Netherlands was kinda useless and kinda liability for UK and yeah, that was our reasoning, but it didn't really work out that way. So we actually beaten Netherlands quite heavily and occupied all the Java and Sumatra, but unfortunately UK was just able to blockade South America and we we couldn't move our troops back to South America, so Brazil was almost completely occupied. We have to peace out. I mean, there was also um, France joining that war, but that really, really didn't change anything because their, their navy just got destroyed by UK. It was unfortunate. Now, Brazil actually declared war on Bolivia. Um, well, it's actually pretty common that, I mean, uh, they either go for Colombia, Bolivia or Paraguay because they have course on those guys. So it's not too surprising. Um, I'm expecting Argentina to declare war on Bolivia very, very soon, but we'll see about that. Now, actually, there's something I need to talk about. Uh, one of you guys actually asked me if I could play Grand I mean, Colombia, and form Grand Colombia, but I don't think that's a very interesting Let's Play series because you don't have any course, although Colombia should, in theory, be a stronger nation than Chile. Um, in my personal opinion, uh, it really isn't. I'm going to explain why quickly. Uh, I'll just get to Germany. First of all, you don't have those cores, so that there is no easy prestige for you. Um, then. I believe you only have one gold province, this one. Yeah, let me actually check. And so far this one, I mean, that's still I think better than our. But yeah, that's just not enough. And then also the bad thing is that you actually start with more, more states, which can be a good or the bad thing, it depends from the point of view. In my point of view, it's a bad thing because it, it's hard to get your administration up. On the other hand, in the late game, it's better because of factories. Um, okay, we got our CB, and I'm immediately going to start justifying our war on Peru. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Peru is likely to join Bolivia, and once they do so, I don't want to spend infamy like, as you can see, we only have 8.5 infamy. Uh, well, if we were in the war with Bolivia and then added a war goal, we would have 11, which is like, we saved a uh, 2.5 infamy, which is quite okay. Um, so I'm gonna go do that to Peru, and it's really important that as soon as your justification on Bolivia is done, to start justifying on Peru, because otherwise, uh, what will happen is that you will. Um, you can declare war on Bolivia right away, but then you won't have justification done on Peru. But, if you don't start justifying a war on Peru right away, there is a high probability that you will actually still be justifying a war on Peru while your choose with, I mean, uh, justification on Bolivia will expire. So you will waste information for nothing, actually. And this way, there is a, every chance that we will actually uh, get our justification done before, before our choose, I mean, justification in Bolivia expires. So let's try to get some generals. Now I was explaining why I think Chile is better option than Colombia. Um, there is also thing that it's for Green Colombia to be formed. You need to control Ecuador and Venezuela. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, I am not 100% sure. I didn't really check, but from what I know, you need to have Ecuador and Venezuela either conquered or in your sphere. Now, if you want to conquer them, uh, it'll take a lot, a lot of infamy, and that is just 
you'll you'll need a lot of time to do that. So that's not the best way to do it. Um, the better way is just to become a great power, which is not terribly like terribly hard, but it's really it takes time. So the best way to play it, I believe, is to well, in in my opinion at least, is to go like day one, go for Haiti. Annex them. Now Haiti has tobacco. So if you want to there there are two options. Like you can stay democracy and just go for liberals until the like forever. Which is kinda hard to imagine uh, manage. Like I I prefer state capitalism to lazy fair. But that's still okay. Like the good thing about having tobacco is that your your capitalists will likely get their luxury needs, so that means they will be able to get your factories, which is great. Now, the better thing about a state capitalism is that you can control what factories are being built. Um, also, there is an important thing to do with a, uh, in the beginning of the game with uh, Colombia, is that day one you, you start, uh, you hold elections. And Bolivia is also, I believe they have conservatives also. Um, and when they come to power, you will be able to rise your taxes and tariffs, which is great, which means money. Like, tariffs always mean money. Um, unless you're in a sphere, which is kind of sad. Start repaying on that. I think that's quite reasonable at the moment. And also, I should get one more infantry regiment. Now, the way, the reason I'm not going for artillery is that we actually don't really need it in the beginning. Uh, by the way, let me check for how much longer we have for CB. Uh, until 7th January. And our justification is done in 3 months. It'll, it'll be a close call, but I think we are getting it before. Um, before, what is it, 7th January? So that should be okay. Now we are actually not that lucky with the uh, infamy. We got 16 out of possible 22, but then we also lost some during, during to being in a piece, I guess. Like we got 15, actually 16 out of, I don't know, like 19 or 18, which is not good. But on the other hand, we got lucky with that prestige thingy. Well, prestige or research points, you can choose either. In the late game, I prefer research points. In the early game, it's really not a huge difference it, because it depends on your current research rate, which at the moment is very poor, so I'm just gonna go for prestige. You know, it's gonna be a bit easier to become a great power. Not too much difference, but uh, still a nice, nice thing to get. And there we go. So, how are things going here? Well, surprisingly, Argentina is not going to declare war in uh, Bolivia. But Brazil is fighting, and um, let's see how that war is going. Show wars. Okay, so. We have four brigades. Bolivia has six. So, actually, they didn't lose a single brigade yet so far. It's quite surprising. Oh, I'll get the mouse back. Okay, actually, get the troops here. We can also start mobilizing because we are soon going to declare war on Bolivia. And also, one more thing to notice it's important that we could declare war not for acquired core but acquired state. Because um, by the time you get enough war score to add another war goal, you might lose a just justification which is really sad. Okay, I think we are going for La Paz. Actually, La Paz or Santa Cruz, it's a cool, close call. But Brazil might have Santa Cruz, so let's just go for La Paz. I'm not actually 100% sure which one is better. Like, I believe La Paz has uh, more population, but for some reason, Santa Cruz gets way more trust me. I can't explain it. I just it it's just that way. 
Okay, let's go speed 3. Now of course Peru joined. That's the mo most usual way that things work. Um, I shouldn't have too many problems with them. Like they might attack us, which would be very, very sad. Because we'll, in that case, we are going to lose some soldiers. And that is something we really don't have in the beginning. But we can rely on our navy and hopefully immigrations. We'll see about immigrations. Unfortunately, Chile compared to Colombia. I believe it's far more liberal, and I'm not sure, but for some reason I think that Bolivia is much easier to convert into HM's government or, you know, monarchy than, than Chile. Like every time I, I, I got travels uh, in Chile, I, I got them for dictatorship, so that's really, that's the worst thing. Okay, Brazil actually finished their war. Like Bolivia, luckily they didn't go for... Let me check something. Oh, actually it doesn't say here. They didn't go for La Paz, which was our war goal, which is great. Now I actually need to be very very careful here. Because they are probably going to attack us. Now, would it be interesting? No, they wouldn't. I was hoping that they would maybe join our war. But, what I can do is... No, I actually can't. <laughs> okay. I was hoping to get an alliance with um, Paraguay. And get him into war. And then, since I... Actually, I can get an alliance with Uruguay. Now, they actually don't have any troops at the moment. But, I believe they can mobilize them. And they are actually trying to build some buildings. But, that's okay. Just make sure that we don't get attacked here. Now, the reason why I'm not getting more troops here is that for some reason actually I have to do it now anyway for some reason you occupy provinces quicker with only three infantry regiments compared to four so I was hoping to get one more cavalry regiment and then to get that army to siege stuff do we have a good general here no Unfortunately, zero attack, which is kind of sad. So, I guess I'll have to attack them. Probably that's not the best, best option. Because we are going to lose some men. Oh, by the way, go for chemistry. I mean, medicine. The most important back here. Of course, after research points. Let's speed up a bit. Okay, they're going here. Oh, unfortunately, Colombia is there already. I mean, Bolivia is there already. So I'm not gonna attack them. I don't know, where are they actually retreating to? They retreated here. So... This will be a hard war, actually. And I le unless I can get an attacking general, I really need to hope for their troops to split in some way. Would you join? No, they, they'll bail, bail out. Quite unfortunate. No, let's actually retreat. I wonder... I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna pause for the moment. So, we have course here and here. Now, the one thing I would like to go from Peru, I mean, take from Peru is... This one, because it's land connected to our, the provinces we are going to get from them. So yeah, let me just check war score. So acquire state, no, actually first acquire core, 11 and 7, so 20. And acquire state, yeah I know it's not 20, but fuck off, you know, I round it. Okay, so this one is Ica, and Ica is... Okay, so that's that's more than enough. Okay, we'll have it. I'm just gonna add a war score. I mean, war goal now because I don't want to 
you have to pay attention to this one and next actually it's close to expiring so let's just add it I'm really hoping that Argentina will declare war on them but one of the reasons they aren't doing is probably because they are allied to Peru I mean I don't see any other reason why they even do it Okay, against Colombia. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to join because I don't want to lose that prestige. But there is really nothing we can do about that war. Um, I just have to hope until that we get an attacking general, because they actually have a uh, very few troops here. And if not, then I'm just gonna let them occupy stuff, because they'll take a lot of attrition from occupying. And that means their troops will go down, as you can see right now. Actually, I don't have to fight them. Like, this is just not just the AI doing stuff. Like, I've seen a lot of players just do this. Like, they have superior troops, and then they think they can just occupy stuff. So they go for it, but then... Um, you win the war of attrition, basically. Which is a much better way to fight. So let's just not fight them. We're gonna wait until their troops go down. I think, if you remember, right, uh, they had like 20 brigades two months ago. And they're now down to 14. I think when they move here, then they will lose more. Oh, actually, no. They didn't lose brigades. Oh. Okay, interesting. Why is the game paused? No. Oh, okay, so Argentina is allied to Peru and they're giving them military access. Actually, no, 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 I can't, I can't go there. Like, I really, really can't. 22 brigades. But I believe they lost some brigades. I think they had like 16 here and then a month later on they had like 13. Let's see. Four and four. But their war exhaustion is high. Now unfortunately our war exhaustion is also going to get go up. Which is kinda sad. But it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Because war exhaustion means we can actually pass some reforms. Now hopefully they'll get some nutrition here. Oh okay. They're actually reinforcing. Didn't expect that. Can I, can I maybe allow you again? Okay, this time they will... I think they will join. So we're gonna let them occupy stuff. Okay, likely. Good. There we go. Now let's see, they are not mobilizing yet. But they should do it soon. I'm gonna speed up a bit. So like, what I'm hoping to achieve is that they will get some brigades and they will distract um, Bolivia and Peru. Oh good, look at that. Although those are only Bolivian troops, so I definitely don't want to attack them there. And get medicine. I mean, if you really want, you can go for military attacks, but that's not really helpful. Now, Peruvian troops went back. I don't know why. Oh, maybe they went back to occupy Uruguay, which is great. So the things are actually working out. As planned. Like, we really need uh, Uruguay just to be a distraction, not, not to fight the actual war. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna let him occupy Santiago. It doesn't really matter because I just want them to take attrition here. And we are not taking so much attrition here. Also hoping to get a better general. I mean, plus one attack is decent at this point. And also, keep in mind, morale plus 30%. That, that's actually quite nice. That means we would get... We would lose less brigades. In battles. And there we go. Tour is going there. 
That's, which is great. Really? Can you, can you stop like? Look at this Brazil. Very aggressive early game. I mean, they're probably going to be our main contenders in South America, but we actually don't have to fight them at all. There is no reason for it. Now I'm just hoping that they won't go here, because I don't want to attack them there, because of mountains, but we definitely can attack them, and will attack them here. And hopefully we'll get medicine here, until we... Okay, no, 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 wait, 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 pause, 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 pause. Okay, I hate this. Okay, there we go. I don't want them to get here, to Santiago. So I need to stop them from going there. Okay, let's, let's split our brigades. I'll just get the three, not two. And go there. And actually, I don't, I don't want this. Very annoying. So, what is the actual supply limit? Is huh? I don't know about this. Look, I'm thinking about sending my rest of my brigades here, but yeah, that's probably not the best option. The other way is to just tag them from here and from here. What? No. <laughs> They're losing the war. They just didn't realize yet. Lose it yet? Oh, oh, okay, now this can be serious trouble. Argentina is actually in war with us. Now, actually, I'm gonna take some attrition, but not too much. Like, the difference is only one. So, that's not, not too bad. So, we can just attack him. Now, I hope that Brazil was, will actually be able to defeat Argentina. And finish the war quickly because I don't want to fight Argentinian troops. Okay, here we go. Now our land is unoccupied, and I believe they should have a neg negative ticker. No, we actually have a negative ticker. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe is there a negative ticker on humiliate? To humiliate, you get tickers when once you have uh, one. Oh, what is it? Like seventy-five percent battles? Let me actually check it. It should say yeah. Yeah, seventy-five percent of battles, and I think you need yeah once at least five battles have been fought. Uh, we only fought one battle, so yeah, it'll take some time. I can go actually for prestige here. Pretty nice. This will increase our research points. And actually, Uruguay is being quite useful here. Now I wonder. Oh, is Peru in a war with Brazil? No, they're. Where are the troops? Oh, they're right there. Okay, they're here. Okay. How's the war going? It's okay, actually. Oh god, terrible generals. Get rid of this one. Get this one. I mean, you can you can keep. Oh great, plus two, plus two. Let me pause for the moment. Uh, the way I'm doing, like uh, getting generals this way. Compared to just re releasing a general and then, you know, just replacing him, is that you actually lose prestige on the general uh, if you do so. Uh, yeah, that's just a small thing, but you know, sometimes those small things matter, so. Um, unfortunately, we are getting both negative tickers, so I really need to get those stuff. Occupy like Paraguay is helping, but that's not enough. That's actually it's Uruguay, right? Yeah, it's Uruguay. Okay, go here. How many brigades do they have left? 
I think Malibe has none and then Peru has like four. Yeah. You look at okay. It's nice. Now as for tax, we can go for uh, I mean try to become a null power. Which is quite legit, but I I don't know. I'm not sure if we'll actually have enough research points. We're yeah, definitely going for idealisms next. Okay, I'm just gonna continue occupying until we get enough war score. Like, yeah, definitely the better way would be just to occupy the stuff we are demanding at the moment, because then that would lower our negative ticker. But for that to count, we actually need to go through the territories, which is kind of pain. By the way, let's check who is the war leader. He's the Bolivian. This means we can actually... We actually need to get a separate peace with Peru before um, ending the war. Shouldn't be a big trouble. Like, I'm sure we'll get enough tickers. Or maybe not. No, actually, definitely we are, we're going, going to have it. Like, at this point, I'm, I can actually split my armies. Get this one. I'm just going to wait until this one is occupied so I can assign a general. It's always better to have a general than not to have any. Like, any general is better than none. Unless you have a minus four attack. Which, yeah, I had, like, awful lot of times, unfortunately. Really hate it. Um, where do I go? I'll go here and then... I, yeah, I think it'll change because we now have medicine, so... Um, once you get there, supply limits should change. Yeah, there we go, it's 20 now. Because it's being occupied by us. Also get a new general. That's a decent general, I'm gonna keep it. Whoa, plus 10 prestige. What was that? I believe something from medicine. Oh god, I didn't read uh, I went. I don't think ideology. Do? I don't think we get an event from this one. No, we definitely don't. So it, it definitely was medicine, and I think it was pressure chambered, uh, chambers for thoracic surgery. But as you can see, once one country has this, then the prestige that you get from researching it gets lower. So th that's the reason why it's 4 or 5 now compared to 10 that we got from, from it in the beginning. Now, okay, where are you going? They're going nowhere. Anyway. Um... The thing I wanted to check is, okay, we have 100% efficiency here. Here is, well, it's the same point, uh, state action. And here, so actually, I can stop increasing this one, and now focus on military. By the way, switch our focus to Los Rios. And go for clergyman there. Nice. I'm drinking some wine. <laughs> Sorry for that. I don't know if you can hear me. Ah <laughs> uh, well. Um, yet another terrible general. Actually, we have the plus two, plus two, so I can actually start getting some admirals instead of generals. Now let's see our war score. Now, the negative ticker on Ika should stop. Because we actually have one. One part of it's occupied. And that is good. Should be at 50%, yeah. 50%, okay. I believe our war score in Peru should be different. Yeah, we actually had found one, so I think we can add a war on them. No, since we are the war leader, actually, we can't. And, yeah, I should definitely fight their troops now. 
Because they have 12 and if they start on occupying land then they'll be really annoying. Plus we stopped one negative ticker, so that's okay. Uruguay unfortunately was forced out of the war, but they served their purpose. Like They distracted um, Peru for long enough and we were able to, to destroy Bolivian troops. Which is great. Now, if there is anyone that I want to increase relations with, then that is probably either Mexico or UK. Um, because I don't like being sphered by USA. It's gonna ruin our economy and also that would mean that we can't actually get into war with their other spherelings. And they're likely to get, like Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, and other stuff in their sphere. Also, I might consider going for like, uh, like attacking Colombia because, you know, um, having Panama Channel is always nice. So that's one of the ideas. Also, once we accumulate enough money, I'm probably gonna start expanding naval bases. Because I really want to get some navy and try to colonize later on. Okay, let's attack him here. No, that's not gonna happen. But how's the war score going? It's minus 11. I believe we didn't kill all of their troops, so I'm gonna follow them. And the good thing is, the more battles we get, the more war score we get. And also, I'm hoping to get the... Well, actually, I'm not sure. Again, if we get negative ticker, if we win 5 battles against them. So... Yeah. Okay, let's split some troops. It's really important to pay attention to what troops... Uh, are actually lone men and what aren't and you should try to I usually if I'm playing a great power or a bigger country like I would just delete those troops that uh, can't can't supply the sum the sauce um, but since we are playing a really small country that doesn't have a huge soldier pop we actually want to keep them just for occupations, not for fighting. Okay, I believe we've won five battles so far. And two against Bolivia here, two against Boli uh, Peru in the north, and then one in, against Bolivia in the south and Chile. So yeah, there is definitely no negative ticker against I mean for this. And it would be really nice to see that in like some patches or something, mods maybe. Oh, by the way. In that multiplayer game I played, uh, it was much easier to play Chile because, what well, I mean, I guess most of countries are actually easier to play because um, there is, um, let me just see if I can add a war mode here, no, actually, yeah, well, yeah, we still have a negative war score. Um, there is a uh, conquest, conquest minor nation. So if a nation has less than half a million population, you can, instead of conquesting them for 22 infamy, you can conquest them for 11 or 10, I'm not completely sure, but that's a great way to preserve infamy. And yeah, I really like it. Okay, so continue going for culture tax, state and government. Now, nationalism and imperialism isn't essential. I think it's always nice to get it, but as you can see, you get 5 plurality and then you also have minus 5 plurality. Now, I might actually go for it because war, war, war exhaustion is actually probably quite high. Let me, let me check it. It's 17, it's not terrible. Like, it'll go up a bit more because we are still losing some troops to attrition, but it's not anything deadly. So. And also, 
more exhaustion will help us get to know things, which is really hard to get if you're playing a democracy in South America. Oh, surprisingly Bolivia is still able to get some more troops. I mean, the actually population in Bolivia, starting population is quite nice. They already lost one province, but it's not a huge one against, I mean, to Brazil. But the thing about Amazonas is that this started tropical one, which is great. Okay, let's go here. Not only that it's great because the tropical wood is very valuable and it gives a lot of money, but it's also like uh, you can get some great luxury clothes factories there and that will help your economy and also you can get uh, craftsman Im immigrants, which is great. So let's see if we can recruit one more admiral. Um, you know, even though this one is not that great, I'm gonna keep it because it has plus 40 speed, which can be really useful against, like, minor nations. I don't know. What are we talking about? Not minor nations, like, for transporting fleet. That's great. I'm gonna start building some uh, naval bases. Why not? I mean, it's, it's quite a time. I'm gonna get one here, get one here. Do we have any other provinces? Any states? No, not yet. Uh, actually, did we did we get a second gold province? No, do we actually have only one? I am I'm pretty sure we should have two, but I'm yeah I might be wrong. Let us not take attrition. I'm gonna fight him here. And then once is, this one is done, I'm probably gonna attack here, even though. Even though it's it's a month, and I'm pretty sure we can defeat him easily there. Okay, get get one more tickers, and also we should have a ticker against them. Right? Yeah, we still have it, and unless they unoccupy this one, should be a hard battle. They still keep getting good rolls while we get zero, one. Well, we got seven now, so I can't complain. Oh, really? You're going there? Okay, once we beat them there, I'm gonna go for capital. Because it gives a lot of war score. It'll just be easier. Okay, there we go. It also gives a lot of prestige, I mean, those battles. They're all already at 25. Well, we had 15, so that means during the war we accumulated like 10 or a bit less because you also kept from um, being a civilized nation. Also nice. Okay, that's useful. I mean, the occupation is really slow because we don't have that many troops. But what can you do? I believe the one of the states we are getting has timber. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Alright, this one, okay, nice. What about La Paz? Um, yeah, La Paz also starts with timber and later on in the game. Like in 1900 and around that time you... There was changed to, I believe... I'm not sure if it changed to tropical wood and then to rubber. Or just di directly from uh, from timber to, to rubber. But yeah, something like that. Okay, I believe we should have enough. No, should have enough war score to yeah. We can peace out with Peru, which is great. Oh wait, not yet. Add one more. Okay, we have all the tickers against Peru, so I'm just gonna s continue occupying. Um. Bolivia now. Actually, don't go there. Go to Cobija. How do you pronounce that? Cobija? I guess, like... I mean, yeah. I don't know Spanish, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, hmm. Okay. 
Again, terrible general, but yeah, what can you do? Okay, so the reason why I'm keeping administration is at 20% because if you if you lower it more than 20%, then you'll start losing bureaucrats. But if you keep it over 50, I mean over 20, then you're basically doing nothing. Like you'll get some, you'll lose some, but um, it's not like you will get more than 100% uh, in every province. Like one, I mean. 1% of total population in the province, but it's really not worth it. I mean, you're getting nothing from it. Okay, they would accept, okay. Nice, we can get peace out. And there we go, we are already much larger than we were. What are you offering? Acquire La Paz, acquire Bolivia, not Kama. That, yeah. Is that all we're fighting for? Like I believe it is, but just check it, yeah, wait, it is. I could humiliate them, but I, I don't think I need to spend the tune for me on them. So I'm just gonna accept it. There we go. Okay. Get the troops back. As you can see, we're 11th now. So, let's get militancy, and we can, we can get a reform. Which is great now. I'm... Like, I'm not really uh, good when it comes to playing South American nations because I don't have that much experience playing them and I'm not sure which you should go for if you want maximum amount of immigrants. But I guess Censor Press is good and I believe it helps increase your literacy, so... This one is definitely great. Like, if you, if you compare numbers, um, it's all the same, but no, let's go for Sensor Press then. And also, I forgot to mention that um, when you go to Chile, um, accepted culture is South Andean. And South Andean is mm, like in all of those states. That we acquired and in like all of Peru we have South Andean population and in most of Bolivia not all but most that means you can get a lot of cores like you can turn those states into cores later on which is great so I think that's that's enough for the first part uh, stay tuned for the next one thanks for watching and have fun